Leah Sun Moon Horizon sign. Yes, um, this is month of May. I'm sorry, I'm doing up the changes. I'm actually changing up the monthly readings. Um, um, so um, you, I'll be back on camera next next month. But um, this is a very special month because this card deck was um, um, donated by someone and I think they're the most beautiful um, deck of all and I wanted them um, to be placed here um, to um, radiate and activate the uh, energies that is coming out for you guys. Okay, so I love this deck. It's basically a wonderful positive deck um, and we're going to start out by looking at the energy of the month of May it's a positive energy for you fire sign people because it's the energy of the Empress okay so the month of May is an earth energy and you are a fire sign the beginning of the month you have the energy the zodiac energy of, uh, of the heart until the second half of the third week and from the second half of the third week to the end of the month, you have the energies, the zodiac energies of the hair. Okay, so the hair, it's um, the energy of uh, um, um, thought, um, communication, and thought form. So the beginning of the month is going to be much better because that is more the physical things around you. And um, you are going to see basically positive um, situations um, happening for you in the two first weeks but whatever is transpiring um, um, we have to really really um, take focus and, and and take a positive look at um, situation that is transpiring because as I'm looking at this energy um, you guys have the energy of the number 11 now number 11 is the um, in this deck is the energy of um, the inner strength okay so the energy of inner strength is coming in and it's assisting you in whatever way it can so to bring forward because it's as if you have left the month of April with the ten of wands okay burdens you have left your burdens in the month of april and in um the month of may you're coming in leaving that burdens and coming in um to see um what is transpiring for you and there you are um having the energy of uh the strength you're looking for inner strength because the burdens you're trying to leave your burdens behind and move in this month of May and by this you're looking for inner strength so okay um the center of your month is the energy of the knight of swords in reverse okay so that is good um so for um, you uh, Leo's who have a situation that has to do with someone with an here um, whether Sun Moon or rising energy that is between the ages of 25 and 45 here you are leaving whoever this person is behind and this is this is good because they have been affecting you in your life and this has been a burden for you so let's move on and look at the first half of the week the first half of the week there is the energy of the four of swords in the reverse forms now the four of swords in the reverse form is saying that it is time that you let this burden behind whatever that you have been carrying for how many years and how long whatever is the emotional situa situation that has been affecting your life you're seeing the truth of the situation now and now you decide to leave it behind if you do that if you do decide to leave it behind something wonderful and something positive is going to be happening whenever we keep on holding on to our burdens we can't and we won't and we can't leave this burden behind and they are saying to you leave this burden behind for some of you this burden is coming from work situation there was um, 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 some this 
um, dismissal or some um, injustice that has happened to your work and they're saying leave the situation behind because Uranus is coming in Uranus is coming in some of you have this situation that has to deal with someone who was a cancer who has done you some injustice and Uranus is coming in and said listen leave the situation behind because it serves you no more and Uranus is going to be releasing you of your burdens in the around the first week some people it will happen in the first week some people it will happen in the second week third week or fourth week but whatever is happening there is an ending that is coming in the five week so as we look at um, the second week the knight of swords is in reverse now this could be an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libran that is um, in the reverse form meaning that this person or situation that you have been dealing with with this person is now in the reverse form and this is whoopee happiness joy this is um, really an end to, to this situation as we move forward and we're looking at the energy of the Luna um, the energy of um, the Queen of Swords is also in the reverse form and you have a huge victory and a success against this person so moving out of the second week um, into the third week you have overcome a situation that you have been dealing with some hair sign people so um, for some people um, the, it could be a woman over the age of 40 or a man over the age of 40 whoever these air sign people are because it could be that this person um, is the ex and the and 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 the kind the ex and the child the ex and the child and if you or someone who was born between the hours of 12 a.m. and 6 um, p.m. no uh, uh, 6 p.m. and and uh, 12 a.m. if you are a moon sign person okay you were born in the night after 6 p.m. you are going to have to be dealing with the scorpions and the Virgo okay and the energy with the scorpion and the Virgo you are going to have a victory a, a win a victorious win against the scorpion for some people some people against the Virgos, and for some people it's against the air sign people like all the air sign people whether man woman or a child there is going to be a huge victorious because a lot of you have been dealing with these air sign people so whatever the situation whatever that has been transpiring especially for you people in the night who were born after 6 p.m. you are going to be overcoming these obstacles that these people have placed for you and there is coming an end for this and this is going to be wonderful and positive because whatever these obstacles was um, an ending is coming in and this ending is coming like now okay it's as if um and you're leaving it behind the obstacles are going to be removed there's an end coming in and you're leaving it behind the outcomes is going to be positive in the sense that whatever obstacles that they have brought for you um, you're leaving this behind as we move forward and we look in um, at the energy in the fourth week the energy of the star is here and there is a surprise that is coming up for some of you so um, there is an unexpected surprise that is coming up with work for some of you um, this is going to be good because there's a new offer that is going to be coming in in the third fourth week for some people um, it can be in the first week of May but for some people it's going to be a new offer for, for work or business a business deal a new business deal that is going to be opening up for you guys okay and this has to do and this is going to be good so take it whatever um, it's unexpected um, you you're just going to be um, blown away 
um, and this offer is going to be offered to you from a, a someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so this lady who is gonna offer you this job is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn it's just an offer that is coming out of the blues and um, it's going to be um, very very good because um, it's a it's going to be an offer that you have been waiting on because the energy of the star is there and the nine that means this offer is going to be a very positive offer Offer. And number two, the dualities. You guys are going to be working on dualities. So remember that number two, whatever you're doing, the energy of number two is here and it is a time of a duality. Okay. So let's move on and look at the last and final week. We have the energy of the two of swords. Okay. With the energy of the two of swords, it's a wonderful, wonderful, positive, positive energy because what is happening is that the two of swords has come in upright so for some of you you're not seeing a situation that is happening like for some of you in um in it, it, it's, it's a situation that is has been happening that is um finally coming to an end okay and the situation um they're saying move away from this situation move to move move away from this situation it could also be that they're saying that you need to um um exercise or um, walk you know to but it's, it's a situation where um, it has to do move away from certain people and certain situation in your life because there you are having the energy of uh, the chariot so it could be um, if you're in a situation with a Virgo or a Scorpio they're saying leave this relationship leave this situation it doesn't serve you anymore and um, for some people it will be coming to an end um, in the third week for some people it's going to be coming to an end in the fifth week and especially if you were born after the hours of 6 p.m. and and 6 a.m. there is going to be so many endings with these scorpions these Virgos and these um, especially in marriage some people who are married um, to the um, Aquarians or the Gemini or Aquarians Gemini or um, Libran you're going to be leaving you're going to be ending these relationships and moving on so there is a lot of stuff that is happening in relationships or in um, business deal with these people it doesn't have to be relationship but it can also be um, and in, in, in dealings business or at work or people who are your friends you're going to really see the truth of a situation and you're basically going to um, walk away from this and an ending is going to be coming in now the, the outcomes of your month is um, the energy of you working together with others to bring a positive support um, in your life and this is this is in a good way this is really 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 is um, is in a good way because what is happening what is transpiring is that you are seeing that certain situation that are happening around you um, needs to um, be healed and left to be ironed, okay? Because um, a lot of situation that you haven't been seen clearly is as if it is better to just let it go. You know, it is as if to say, um, "All right, um, I'm sorry, but this is not what I've been looking for in my life, and this situation, I'd expect the situation to um, be something much better." And here you know you're seeing that there is a surprise that is coming in for you guys that there is a very um positive surprise and the surprise could be a political one also in the sense that um it could be a surprise that a group of people are going to be doing for you as if this group of people are seeing a situation and understanding something and they're going to be supporting you in whatever way so um, it could be you know unexpected that um, a group of people or someone um, out of a group or that sort of a thing say hey um, what you're doing is really really um, positive and uh, um, here we are going to be supporting you in this endeavor okay so um, it is in many different forms and ways that it comes up because maybe people see that you are really um, um, open up to do 
um, to serve humanity and then you are going to be seeing that doors of opportunities that, uh, that are going to be opening up because it's as if you decided I want to work with certain people I want to do certain things I want to open up um, something that I can help other people and then the universe are going to formulate and bring together the right people at the right time so actually it's a very positive month um, the energy is duality the energy is that a lot of people <coughs> will be <coughs> dealing with a lot of situation and this is going to be extremely extremely positive so for the Sun um, the Sun sign people you're going to be have to deal um, finally for the Sun sign people the people who were born 12 a.m. until 6 p.m. what is going to be transpiring for you is that finally Uranus is going to be taken out uh, um, a situation <coughs> <coughs> sorry of someone who is a cancer out of your life and this could be a situation where a cancer has done you some injustice in the past and in the first and second week they are or in this month at some time of this month they are Uranus is going to come in to remove this cancer out of your life for good okay and this is good and then a surprise is going to be coming in so it could be someone from a work situation or someone from your past who has been just constantly in your life just um, do it <coughs> sorry situation and stuff and this is why um, they're taking this person away out of your life for the moon people a lot of stuff will be happening for you moon people there is just so many stuff that is happening that you have to deal with the scorpions and the Virgos you are going to be uh, and and the um, and the um, Aquarius Gemini and Libran and you're going to be overcoming whatever the situation is with these people that you have to deal with the Aquarian the Gemini or Libran whatever the situation that you have to be dealing with these people you're going to be overcoming them and it's going to finally finally come to an end and you're going to be victorious and win this situation how it comes is working together with people to bring peace and um, to bring a situation there is um, something that is happening that a whole lot of movement especially for um, for the Sun sign people it's all about politics it's all about politics it's all about um, people groups of people who are looking for it's as if they're choosing the best one it's all about politics okay so um, a surprise invitations are going to be coming in for work invitation for, um, to do speaking um, invitation to connect to group or the group of people there is someone who is a, a tall um, um, it can be a, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn who's going to come in it's a young person someone who's younger than you are that is going to come in and open up a door um, and this is going to be in work for you and this is going to be very um, good a whole lot of politics um, is going to be playing out um, for um, you um, Sun sign people the people who were born in the day a whole lot of politics are going to be playing up but there's a lot of surprise and good surprise that it that is coming in because you have the energy there of the nine um, and that energy is a surprise, a surprise in work, surprise in <clears throat> um, um, things that you weren't expecting. Um, some people are going to be politically, or you're going to be working with groups of people, but in a you know in a way, this surprise is coming in in a political way. So it's a two face. So and you have the energy of two, the two of swords. So. It's as if you're being taken on because it's a reason why they do it because they have another reason behind the reason behind the reason so it's a sort of a politics that is plain so there and um, for the moon people um, movement it's time to leave situations leave people and situations behind and it's going to be positive for the rest so ladies and gentlemen I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back namaste until next time